Hello, I'm Abix Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be playing some Skyblock for Minecraft on the PC. This is a really fun game mode you've probably heard of before, where you know you start on a tiny island, and then you make a cobblestone generator, then you're kind of done within about 20 minutes. But this is a much cooler version of that that uses the server, you know, kind of uh, functionality on the Minecraft PC to make it much more fun. Not only uh, is the island much more characterful with much more things to do, but also uh, there is PvP where I can fight other players. There's our uh, item rankings. There's uh, you know currencies being exchanged. There's a bunch of cool things that I'm going to be doing in this series and I'm looking forward to doing it. You know, fighting players, building houses, fighting players in my built houses, all this sort of stuff. And if you uh, do like the video, please do like it and let me know. The series is actually sponsored by play.nirvanamc.com. They have one of the best Skyblock servers out there, so I'm very fortunate they sponsor me. And if you want to uh, go check out that server, I'll link the link in the description. And also, if you want to, you know, buy some stuff to get a cool advantage, a couple of things I have, uh, then there is actually a YouTuber discount code, which you can check out too. So yeah, um, in the play.nirvanamc.com, I'll leave a link in the description, go check it out if you want to play some Skyblock 2, or even against me, because if you play on Skyblock West, the server I'm playing on, uh, then eventually we might actually face off in the Never or something. Anyway, let's get straight into the series then, shall we? So let's start uh, with, uh, you know, this island we're on. So, I don't really know too much about what's going on here, I'm just an ocelot, by the way, I've, I've got my Minecraft console skin on the PC, except I look kind of uh, angry about the whole thing, uh, but yeah, let's, <laughs> uh, let's get into our first chest, uh, it might be more. And let's see what we've got. So we've got full leather armor. That's kind of nice. As you can see, don't have to, you know, go for that whole grind to just get cows and stuff. And then we've also got, oh, we've got some keys. But let's start with everything else. We've got the cobblestone generator. We've got one of each thing we need to start farm. And we've got these void key and cloud keys. So I'll start those in a second. But those are a cool little benefit I got uh, for the YouTube rank. And uh, basically, they're going to allow me to uh, get some stuff. I don't know what stuff they're going to give me, but it should be cool. So we've also got some water here, which is nice. I think it's a way to get me on and off the island. And my first move, I guess the first move of any Minecraft game, Skyblock or otherwise, should be getting wood. I mean, you need wood to do practically any... Oh, and, and the achievement get. If you're wondering, that resets every server. I just haven't... <laughs> uh, like, every now and then, I'm like, how does that pop up? But yeah, um, put the oak wood... Oh, put the oak wood there and go like this. Now we can make a crafting table and we should probably make a pickaxe first because, you know, in any... Oh, benchmarking. Uh, in any game, you really want to just be uh, all about getting that achievement. Oh, there's a furnace here already, so that's awesome. But we do need a pickaxe still. Unless there's a crafting table I've just missed. Because if there is, then I feel embarrassed. But uh, yeah, let's place this crafting table down up there. Put it on a stick. <laughs> uh, should be pretty cool. And then let's... Oh, uh, then let's uh, get one of these things and do that. So yeah, you get a 10% discount if you use my coupon code, which is in the description. And yeah, let's uh, go check this out. Um, I guess we should make... Uh, yeah, just make some sticks. And then a wooden pickaxe. Because the thing about making tools in Minecraft, you never want to have all the wooden tools. I see people always make like a wooden shovel. And it's like, you save so little over having a thing. That it, is it really worth it? But yeah, what I'm going to be doing instead though is just going straight to a stone one. So uh, the island is of limited size. But I believe I can expand the island, get new islands and stuff like that. It's like... You know, it, it is really cool. It's got a bunch of RPG elements. I'm really, really looking forward to playing. So, yeah, you can see the sun is actually going down right now. So I'm going to uh, like, hurry to make sure that doesn't happen too soon. But first of all, we make the stone pickaxe. And then, boom, our life gets infinitely easier. So, um, yeah, we should actually start one of each of these farms now. Uh, so, really, I guess the, the first one you do is a cobblestone generator. I always mess up cobblestone generators because you place one block wrong and you've ruined everything forever. So, we'll just hope that we don't do that because that's a pretty bad mistake to make. I believe it's water that flows into here. You know, I think it's lava that flows into there like that. And then the water... No, because then the water would get to... Yeah, if, if, if I place the lava like there and then I place water... Uh, I guess we'll place it a block over here. Yeah, no, let's place it right... Ooh, yeah, I, I'm worried I got it the wrong way around, actually. So I think I'll, I'll scoop up the lava, and I'll place it here instead, and then I'll break this block. Yeah, because now, okay, there we go. Now when we break the water here, it does that, which means it'll go there, but that's fine. And then we place the lava here, and then they never touch directly, except for there. Which means I can now mine this, and I've got a cobblestone in So that's nice to have. Uh, I've got a lot of stone on the end itself, so I don't need it too bad. And uh, the next thing we should probably do is work on sleeping, because... Uh, I guess welcome torches. We've got two torches. Let's just place one over here. And let's just make it like it, uh, like it's daytime all the time. It's the best way to be. So anyway, yeah, look. Uh, next thing we should do is we should get this sugarcane farm set up. So um, really, actually, we should make an infinite water source first. So we can... Yeah, let, let's do that. Because that's it's worrying otherwise. So let's just find a 2 by 2 hole. Uh, I know you can do one with a uh, free... Yeah, in fact, I'll do one uh, the, the old-fashioned way, if you will. Uh, by just having one thing here. And then one over there. And now this will just keep on making itself. So I've got an infinite source of water now, uh, which means 
I don't know. I, I, I don't have to worry about water anymore. And I've got a block of ice too, which is nice. Um, so yeah, what, what, what I have to do now is I have to work on getting some stuff to uh, sell really. Because these farms are going to be... Oh, actually, yeah. Let's let's place a cacti. Oh, actually, okay. Let's chop down this cacti. Get three more. Let's just uh, let's just find some cool places to place it. I guess just one back over there, and then one over here. There we go, two cacti. Awesome. <laughs> uh, we got two more on us, but that's not useful for now. Oh, let's eat this bread actually. Um, but yeah, so I guess now we've got this stuff going on. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll we'll make some iron stuff because there's probably iron on the island. I imagine there's iron on the island. Uh, it's a bit dark down here, isn't it? I should make some torches. Um, but yeah, so um, oh, do you see that? No, I thought I saw something. But yeah, I don't know if there is iron on the island or not. If it's if there is some, it looks like it's well hidden. Uh, I think I've actually uh, I got a mesa by my island. I think maybe that's why it's called West. But yeah, I guess let's just keep our eye out on everything. At the very least, we've got coal, which means more torches. Uh, maybe you only spawn with a couple bits just to get you going, and the rest you have to uh, find elsewhere. But still, it's uh, oh, nice enough for me. Uh, and let's let's find this iron ore, shall we? I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna. Okay, no, that's that's just the edge of the, the map. So yeah, I'm gonna be too. I'm gonna be a little cautious about destroying the island because, of course, that's bad. I've got myself a bunch of cobblestone and two coal. I'll put one in the furnace just so when I need to smelt something, I can. And I'll make one into uh, like actually making some torches because being able to see is way more important to me than being useful with coal. So let's just get four torches, throw some sticks on the ground, apparently, <laughs> and uh, yeah, ooh, ow, ow, that was bad. Just play some in all the dark areas. Just because I, I don't like darkness. No one likes darkness. People like being able to see. I assume so. That's You might be like, no, it's okay. Turn off the lights. My eyes hurt. But I assume that's not you right now. And if it is, my apologies. So, yeah, next up, um, we could chop down more off the tree. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to get any saplings from this stuff. That's a good question. But I guess um, what I should do is open up these keys. Because we do have some pumpkin seed. Actually, yeah, we should start growing that stuff first. Um, the, the problem with the island is it's too... Uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll expand it by taking some stuff down there. So, yeah, my ore worker, which I do have, uh, found myself some lapis, which is nice, but <laughs> uh, not all I need right just now. Yeah, we'll just take all the dirt we can, and also some stone, and we'll just expand the island with it. So, using the cobblestone, I guess I could just go this way. Place a block over down there. Yeah, I'll, I'll place some... This will be like a layer I place things on top of. And then, boom, we've got ourselves some room to grow some melons. So, I also have a cow right there, which I really should actually... If I can encourage him to come with me, I will. So, if I break this block, I'm really... S you lower your fists. Oh. Uh, if I take this with me, and then I lure the cow up. So, this is going to be tricky. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to make sure he doesn't walk into the lava. But I'm going to take him somewhere, like, an enclosed area. Oh, I, he's named Daisy. She's named Daisy. Awesome. They named the cows for you. That's I love that. I love that. Uh, but yeah, let's take let's take Daisy and let's put her somewhere safe. Honestly, I think here is the safest place for her. Just break this block right here. Oh well, that wasn't a good idea. But let's uh, bring Daisy into here, I guess. Okay, this is this is a tricky jump to make. So just get in there. I'm I'm really worried I'll fall off. There you go. Okay, inside you go. She can't make this jump as far as I'm aware. And then we just block it up behind her. So the, oh no, she can definitely make the jump. Daisy is quite a smart cow, you see. Uh, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll just oh no oh didn't mean to do that, but. We just need to really place a block, so go down there again. Then we'll place one block over there. We'll make it that. And then we'll get behind Daisy, and we'll place a block there. Here. So there we go. We've got a cow locked in there. I've also got my wood in there, so I know if I break the block and go in there to actually get it back out. There we go. So now we just do this. Uh, it looks like there's actually a way for the cow to get out. Oh, no, the cow can't get out. There we go. Daisy is locked in there. Now we get a second cow. We can breed Daisy and that together, and we'll get some cool stuff going on there. So next up... Uh, let's keep working on this uh, expansion of the island. Uh, if I I, I want to get an area to kill mobs. Actually, should we open these chests? I'm too curious. I'm I'm just too curious. I need to. Oh wait, they're in my inventory. Let's do one of them. Uh, like I was gonna wait until I knew more about what's good and what's not. But let's let's see. Uh, open, open. Oh wait, what did I just? Did you press? Wait, what did I just do? So I guess. Oh, that I probably wasn't. Wait, right click the, a cloud crate to open it. Oh, it's a key for a crate I don't have. And if you do it like that, you, you break it. So that was a bad idea. Probably <laughs> got to find some cloud crates to use my cloud crate, which I guess makes a lot of sense. So I want to see where this ore worker gets all this stuff. So I guess let's just do ore worker. No, slash ore, slash worker. Aha, and there are my ores. So I ha every 108 seconds, I get myself an ore. And every 30 seconds, I get some cobble. So, oh wait, no. 
Oh, has, has he got all these things? Has he, have I got a diamond already? Oh, I have. So yeah, I do have an ore worker who is getting some ore from the island somewhere. I don't know where he is, but still, it's a nice way to get some ore. And let's place the emerald in here, because we don't need them yet. Let's put the diamond in there, because that's not too useful. And the lapis and the redstone. But still, it's nice that that stuff's going. Uh, really, I wanted some iron, but we'll just wait till the ore worker gets us some. So now, so we don't destroy the iron too much, we'll use the cobblestone generator a little bit. You know, this is uh, one of the key parts of Skyblock that, like, it usually on the, uh, you know, on the, oh, if you play, uh, you know, like a console version or just a, you know, single player version, you will end up just playing, you know, get the cobblestone generator. But in this, this is just the start of where we're going to be going. So I'm looking forward to seeing where this ends up. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Trying to make sure we don't lose any of this stuff is very, very important. Um, but yeah, we have got some cobblestone coming our way. We've got five fit, in fact. And let's just use this to expand this way and start the first thing. So that allows me to go all the way along there. And even one block out here. And now we can place just a dirt block, I guess. Oh, we've got four dirt blocks. So we'll place one uh, here and then one there. And now that's space for a, uh, a water bucket, which we can scoop up from our infinite source. Yeah, we can. <laughs> uh, place it in there. And now around this, we can make a hoe. And then boom, we've got ourselves some melons. So melons is going to be awesome for food because right now we've got a single melon slice. Which actually, we need to turn this into seeds. So yeah, we've got a single melon slice right now, which isn't really good enough food to keep you going. I'll be honest, uh, I do need a little bit more than that. So we'll make a stone hoe. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit too fancy to use a wooden hoe. Uh, so yeah, I, you have to be, I, I think I've done this slightly wrong because uh, I have to stand right here just to collect the stuff. Oh wait, there we go, we get one, two, and then let's just grab this third one and break the block while we're going there. See, so, yeah, I have to like scoop into the block and ah, uh, whatever. I, I got the I got the I got the stone. I'm not doing it most efficiently, but it's good enough for me. Uh, and then we'll get the two there. And daytime is coming again. I do not have to worry about killing spiders for another night at the very least. And now we can hoe one of these blocks of uh, dirt and uh, get ourselves some melon growing. So if we do it cleverly, um, I guess what we want to do is have yeah, we'll have the dirt, oh, this is tricky, be back here, then we'll hoe that dirt, and then we'll put the melon seeds there, because then the melon will always grow towards the water, which is kind of good, because then the melon seeds will go in there, and up, I don't know, it seems uh, logical to me, and now we play the waiting game, so uh, I'm just going to spend the rest of the episode staring at these, me I'm not really, <laughs> couldn't even say it sarcastically, and uh, yeah, we've got these cactus growing pretty well, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use cactus for. I could probably make a really cool base of cactuses as the... You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a base with cactus for the walls. Of course, I've got to get all this stuff going. But uh, that's that's going to be one of the goals I'm doing here. And let's see what we can actually do in the shop. So if you go to slash shop... No, wait, it's uh, slash... I, I don't know actually how you get there. But there is a way if I go to islands. And then there is a uh, open the mini shop. Uh, I believe... Okay, I can buy this stuff. Where do I sell it? I'd like to sell you stuff. Nope, I can only buy it. So dirt is $75, which is steep. Diamonds are twelve fifty. Uh, what's the best thing we can buy though? Yeah, I think diamonds are the most expensive. I think water breathing potions could be useful. But besides that, we're just uh, buying saplings and stuff. I know for a hundred dollars, you can actually um, change the biome of your island. So yeah, this is uh, I'm, I'm I'm working out a lot of this as we go along because obviously I know most console players you probably don't know your skyblock uh, that too well, and that's why I think it'd be cool to know this. But I can actually change the biome of this place. Which I think is a really cool thing, and I I might be a buy a buy of stuff. So let's see if there is like a so that's the mini shop. Uh, is there no? Yeah, wait, we'll, we'll work this out. So we go to help, and then we go to auction, so we can sell stuff like that. Okay, so you gotta you gotta use a really specific code right there, which is kind of tricky. Uh, then I've got a private vault. I've got a s oh server warps. Although that's the different servers, I think. And oh, maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. Let's see what we press there. No, that is that is two different. No wait, no oh oh warp PVP plus seven. Oh. So I, I can go to hostile mobs, so I want to kill some stuff. Um, warp shop. Okay, so I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping I did that right, and this isn't a different server. Yep, this is still the right server. So now from the shop, I can see what I can buy and sell. So, uh, sell for... Oh, you get a lot less when you sell than when you buy. So I, I'll keep the redstone dust, because it's not worth too much. Oh, wow, yeah, everything. Everything you don't get too much for. So what can we get that is worth some money around here? I reckon cobblestone, maybe, might have to be our only bet. But uh, let's see what we can. Ooh. So we go for never. We can actually make quite a bit of money from this stuff. Like $105 for each magma cream. Uh, it's <laughs> you can see the difference between selling and buying for a lot of these things. Uh, cactus sells for a bit. So let's sell some. Sell two cactus. So yeah, I've got 20 cents. 20 cents, guys. No matter what happens from here now, I've always made my 20 cents. And we can sell. Oh, that's prismarine. I thought it was cobblestone. I wonder how much cobblestone is worth. It's got to be worth like 0 0.01, right? Okay, so wood oak. 
One dollar each. Oh, it's worth quite a bit actually. I wonder why. Uh, it's probably because it's rare. So I'm not going to sell too much of this stuff. But yeah, let's find the stone. Uh, it sells for a dollar each if you got cooked stone. I guess you just can't sell cobblestone. That seems fair enough. So I guess cobblestone. Uh, I guess you gotta get, find the coal to smelt the stuff. Okay, so the thing we need to do is we need a wood farm, really, which is gonna be tricky. But that's that. So let's uh, slash warp. I guess. Well, okay. So has slash warp. How'd you get back to my island? Uh, I don't remember the way back to the island. Um, I think maybe slash back. Uh, let's hope this is right. Let's hope this is right. Uh, does Toy Cat know? Toy Cat knows. Yeah, I, I know things sometimes. <laughs> and Daisy is still here, chilling away in her little corner. I, I wonder if she's going to get sad that she's kind of locked in there. I might have to do something about that later. But yeah, we need to chop down this tree and we need to get the wood from that. Uh, this lava probably should be covered up in the meantime. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, can you shift clip onto lava? No, that's not going to work that way. We replace the cobblestone, like here. We'll place just the dirt on top of it. Wait, wait, what did I just do? And this just stops, you know, saplings falling in there. Because I know I need these saplings pretty badly. So I'm going to make sure I get them if they fall down. Which I, I did just get one. Awesome, jungle sapling. So yeah, these saplings are worth a lot. The wood is worth a lot. And that's what we need to be focusing on. We need to get that money so we can get some cool stuff. Uh, I kind of want to go to the nether, but I know I'll die. So I'm going <laughs> to hold off on that for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this stuff. So um, first thing I should do then, uh, like I mentioned, is chop down the tree. So I need to make some more sticks. So I'll just make a bunch more sticks because I need them for a lot of things. And then we'll mine three bits of thing. And we'll use a, a you know a stone axe because then we'll need to grow some more. And we'll need another stone axe. And, it, you know, just a stone axe is a nice investment. I can't have an iron one yet, but a stone one is still pretty nice. Because a, a wooden axe, honestly, like hitting down a tree with wood. Um, oh, IFNA? What does that mean? I got a private message from someone who's a VIP+. plus. That's probably a good thing. Wait, FNA? Maybe he misspelled. Maybe he misspelled. I don't even know how you message people back like that. But still, I got a secret message. Uh, you can probably secretly message me too if you join the server. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's make some food or something. So, um, yeah, we. <laughs> this edge of the world here makes me uneasy. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna stay away from that for a bit. Uh, let's make ourselves a axe like this. Uh, there is actually 85 people online right now, so I'm worried the PvP area will be a bit full. I think the Nevers also PvP, but everywhere else is fine. So I'll go to the hostile area, and maybe that'll be good. Also, should I maybe use some cobblestone and like, yeah, I, if, I don't want saplings falling off the edge here. So we'll take some cobblestone with us. Because, you know, I went through all this effort to not make, or like all this effort, I say, placing two blocks. But, you know, I placed two blocks just to not have this happen there, so I don't want it to happen next to it. So what I'll do is I'll place, I'll get the blocks over here. I need to, maybe what I need to do is this block down there needs to go missing. So, yeah, that's what I'll do next. Um, let's take some cobblestone and let's just put some right there. So now the cobblestone will have to go to the left. Or, oh, okay, there we go. Now it goes up to me. Sometimes it goes to the right, which is a shame. But most of the time it should bounce up to me, like so. Awesome. So ground items will be sucked up in 60 seconds. I don't think I have anything important on the ground. Uh, it might be, there might be a sapling on the ground, actually. So, let's make sure we don't have one of those. But yeah, if we don't have one of those, that's awesome. Let's carry on our cobblestone work. The the good deed, shall we? So, oh, just going down here a little bit. Oh, that's scary. That's very scary. Uh, I guess we'll place it down below this a little. You know, we, we can make this place uh, change layers quite a bit. And just something to, you know, suck up all the saplings, really. Because we want to we wanna get those. When, when you get a sapling, you don't want to just lose it, so... We'll make sure we try. Come on, give me a sapling. No saplings for me. Uh, if you're wondering, the odds are... Oh, I forgot the odds of sapling. I think it's 1 in 50. Because I know it's 1 in 200 odds of getting an apple from an oak tree. Which is uh, kind of like suspiciously low. But a, uh, a thing is just as good. So, uh, I'm trying to do pretty good here. I think I've done pretty good so far uh, this episode. I've got myself my cobblestone generator. Which is going to make the iron bigger. I've got myself... Oh, get some more of that. Oh, okay. So, slash warp crepes. Oh, so I can use... Okay, so what I'll do for the end of the episode um, uh, is I will actually... So I'll, get, I'll just I'll chop down this tree at some point. But wait. Oh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm so scared of this little edge here. So let's just go crouch and let's just fix this. So over there. Okay, I went a layer down too low, but it's fine. Uh, I, it's really worrying because it's not toggle uh, crouch like on console. I always worry I'm going to accidentally like let go because my finger spasms and I'm going to lose everything. And that would be bad. So I'm going to try and not have that happen. I kind of want to grow this faster just so I can have my melon slices. Because as you can see, food is becoming a situation really quickly. Uh, we'll place down the sugarcane and let's warp crates. Slash warp crates. 
Ooh, teleportion will com commence in three seconds. Don't move. Okay. So, we do have these keys on us. Let's use the free cloud keys this episode. Uh, you can receive one vote key with vote. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so, yeah, let's do this. Oh, I opened a cloud crate. Oh, I got a beacon. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty serious. Let's uh, let's get this in our inventory so we can see next time. Was it just a beacon? It was just a beacon. Okay, this time, 16 endstone. That's pretty valuable, I imagine. Okay, final cloud key. What am I going to get? Is it going to be something I really want? What do I want, actually? I'd take a, a diamond shovel. I would take anything but a golden hoe. Not a golden hoe. Not a golden hoe or gravel. Oh, it didn't show me what I got. Um, did I get nothing? I think there's a chance I didn't get anything. So VIP, she's... Hello, how's it going? I see you're a VIP on the server. Welcome. Hello, hello. Oh, he's giving me some steak. That is so kind of you. I do need this quite badly. Uh, another one, maybe? Another one? <laughs> no, but thank you. Thank you very much to Cheese OG. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you, most importantly, to uh, Nirvana MC uh, for like, hosting this Skyblock thing. It's really, really cool. This is so much cooler than any other Skyblock I've ever played. And if you want to play it uh, you know, with me, against me, I don't really know how this whole thing works, then you can go ahead and do that by... Um, you know, you're going checking out the description and doing that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, I let me know what you think of uh, PC server videos. I, uh, I've, you know, I've been trying a little bit more of this recently, and if you want to uh, see more of this, let me know in the comments down below. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.